the first thing that needs to be considered is, can the person have surgery or not? So you get a CT scan, sometimes that's something called a PET scan or a PET scan, which looks for metastasis elsewhere in the body. And then sometimes you have to have breathing tests to make sure your lungs are good. Um, and if there's no evidence of it spread anywhere else, the first plan is to operate on it and try to cure it. Once the decision is made for surgery or not surgery, if the decision is they can't have surgery, sometimes that's because their lungs aren't good enough or their health isn't good enough. In that case, radiation and chemotherapy is kind of our backup plan. So people might have a small nodule in their lung, but because they have a bad heart and they have emphysema, they couldn't tolerate the surgery. So the plan then is to try to cure it with radiation and chemotherapy. There are also people in a different category where it's in the middle of the chest, again, still not spread anywhere else, but the surgeon can't take it out in the middle. They are also candidates for an attempted cure with radiation and chemotherapy. Lung transplants aren't an option for people with lung cancer. The problem with lung cancer is it spreads early and it comes back. Some people don't have good enough lungs for the surgery. And uh, those people, in general, are not medically fit enough for a lung transplant. So um, if you're excluded for medical reasons from lung cancer surgery, you're excluded from a lung transplant for the same reason. It's an even harder procedure.